Good evening, my name is Francesco and I'm design director of Direction Studio. Uh, I come from Italy and I've uh, been working in London for 22 years. Uh, I have seen a lot of architecture that is very well composed on the facade, they're completely indifferent to interiors. And I've also seen interior designs that refuse engagement and block windows, uh, engagement with the architectural envelope. So 11 years ago, I set up uh, Daishi Studio. And I have to say that we, we do really enjoy considering both the outside and the inside when we design both buildings and interiors. Our practice thrives on the cross fertilization between architecture, the interior, and design in terms of furniture. And we develop projects where we like the architectural envelope to have a very strong and fit, uh, a strong dialogue with the, with the interior and, and uh, hopefully a perfect fit. For the simple reason oh, sorry. that we like to generate the best background to people's life. So there's no, nothing fancy. We experiment with ideas. This is a concept bathroom when people can grow plants. And then we balance these conceptual ideas with um, practical considerations when we're working on real homes. Most times our, input, our output is about joy and energy. Sometimes it's about restraint, neutrality and subtleness, like in this micro flat in a completely untouchable listed building. But every time is about a response that generates spaces they are welcoming, unique, and also accessible to all, also in terms of budget. The thing is that we absolutely love homes <laughs> on holiday, at work. We, we like the idea to work on spaces where people uh, eat, sleep, love, hate, and hopefully love again, of course. <laughs> And uh, we, we have a, a fresh and creative approach, which is always balanced by extremely rigorous and pragmatic and quite often resourceful approach as well. Such approaches brought us awards and the prestigious commissions. These are uh, some objects we designed for Leicester Cathedral. And this is a kiosk for BBC commissioned by Stanhope. But amongst the awards, we always put our clients' pride. We absolutely love when they populate our spaces and make them their own. Thank you. Yeah, happy to go. Uh, well, the jacket like that, you won already. I mean, uh, it's just, <laughs> can I say any more? Um, like the presentation, you've clearly got tons of experience. Um, I like some of your the words you use, like joy and energy, which I think is quite exciting and vibrant. Um, like the ideas, it was only up for a couple of seconds, but one, one, what you did in the micro flat, which is something I'm particularly interested in. Uh, and I thought your outlook is fresh and creative. Um, 20 seconds over the top, but who cares? Well done. It's very good. Um, I love this. Um, from I mean, I'll let other people judge the answers to your uh, your work. But um, from communications point of view, anytime you want to do an interior story in the Observer magazine, just give me a call. I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> I felt it was filled with filled. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was filled with life. I thought it was brilliant. I uh, similar comments. Love the passion for interiors and love the colour. And I thought you handled the glitching particularly well. You didn't lose it when it was all going wrong. Uh, yeah, so I, I thought hats off to that. I thought there was a, um, a major <laughs> uh, tension between two of your statements, really. One was that you said that your style was the background to people's lives, but it was also so in your face. You know, it was... I mean, I love your strong use of materials, and I think that's your selling point. It's not the background, it's the front. Oh, the and background's alive. <laughs> no. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, I picked up on the point as well in terms of the words. I think you've got great use of materials. It's not a criticism. Um, 
And I think um, in terms of how you presented, I was thoroughly engaged from the moment you started till the time you finished. So I thought it was a really good pitch. Um, I agree with all of that. Um, I, I, I would just add a, a, a little thought about the, I enjoyed the sort of simplicity of your reasoning, um, your understanding of emotion, your discussion about how people will feel in these spaces, in these places, and, uh, and, and the exciting places that you're already delivering. Um, there was one little negative, which was about um, pitching style and making sure you're pitching to us and not over the top of us to other people. Um, but, uh, but apart from that, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought the, the quality of the photography, the colours, everything really engaging. Thank you. The winner is Dry Sheet. So we, we were thrilled to, to know that uh, we won this pitch and so we're looking forward to, to working with the uh, hub. I'd like to thank my, the whole studio of course and, uh, and uh, the other director, Rosalba. I'm not sure what to expect but uh, we certainly will do our best and hopefully exciting new interiors coming on to Hub's uh, portfolio. And uh, there's a lot of thinking about new homes and uh, how we tackle uh, just a different environment, how we tackle the future. We can't all be the same. We need to do individual and quality environments for everyone to, to afford. So that's a, quite a big challenge. <laughs>